Tina Chick here, and guess what? It is the month of love. That's right, February, which means Valentine's Day is not too far away. So I'm here to do a simple Valentine's Day face paint, you know, just to spruce up your Valentine's Day if you just didn't want to be all boring and going out. So this little design, it will be perfect for this day. So let's get started. Now, if anyone ever seen my first two face painting tutorials, you should know the tools that you should use or need to paint your face. You need a sponge, a cup of water, a spray bottle, you know, so you could easy apply water instead of dipping it totally inside the cup, and oh, a paintbrush. Obviously, you're going to need the Valentine's colors, which is white, red, and pink. So, first, what we're going to do is going to base around our eye with the three colors. And I'm going to show you how to do this. We take a spray bottle, spray, and each of the paints. And then spray a sponge. Next what you do, you take the tip of the sponge and you put it into the white first. Then next See, colors blend. Don't get rid of too much of the white, and then the red. Isn't that cool? On the eye, like so. Start, and then go up like that. Make sure that you blend. All of the colors together. Alright. Cool. See that? It's pretty, pretty blend. Next, we're going to add little details. Now, obviously, Valentine's Day. And what is the symbol for Valentine's Day? Hearts. So we're going to do a few little hearts right under here. Start. And then Oops, that up. Now that's one heart. We're going to do two more. And they're going to be a bit smaller than this one. That is so cute. I like it. It is too adorable. Now, we're not just going to leave this like that, it was too plain. We're going to add some accents to it now. And they will be the cute little swirls that a lot of the face painters do. They're not hard to do, I will, I will show you. We're going to start with a little swirl first. So we start from the tip, press down, and around. And see that? See how pretty that is? It is so pretty. Don't get frustrated. Just take your time with it. You don't have to rush. I'm going as slow as I possibly could. I want you guys to get this. This is such a cute design. Now, from there, 
we're going to do tail drops. So we're going to come in the back of the first swirly, press down, come down, and end in a tip. See it? I'm going to do it again. Wash the brush. Roll up the paint. Press down. Roll up. And in that hip. Now you can do this as much times as you like. I'm going to do it a few more times. Now that we have that done, we are going to define the hearts. And I'm just going to leave them red. So, what we're going to do, this is where we have to get our black. A fine tip brush. If you don't have a fine tip brush, you can use the brush that you're using now. You just have to be really gentle and really light with, with it. So do the same process, dip it in, load up your brush with the black paint, and then basically just trace over the part. There you go, the hearts are outlined. Wash the brush. Now we're going to add a little bit more accents to the design. Um, what I like to do, I like to do the little starbursts and little dots. They are so cute. Um, again, you're going to need your white. Hard kick for this. You can wash, wash off the brush. Dry it a little bit. And all you have to do is start making little dots. Now, to make the starbursts, it's not that hard. All you gotta do is pick up like that, put down like that, put it far, See? And that's how you make a starburst. Not hard at all. So it's one there. I'm going to do okay. I think that's pretty cute. If you want, you could add like little accents to the heart. Maybe it will be a little easy. Now, you can stop here if you want. What I like to do, again, I don't like to half step when it comes to my work. I am going to outline some of the white swirlies with black. You know, to give them a bit more depth. Okay, so I have my tiny brush. Now the more, take my black paint, load it up, it's so pretty. The black makes a difference, it really makes everything pop, like it's just 3D off of this. And last and final step, ta-da! So all you gotta do now, you let this bad boy up. And you're done! Look. 
a simple Valentine's look for the extraordinary person. So. Well guys, I hope you like this tutorial and I will see you guys later. Bye.